What's going on guys? Adam again back with Atomic Garage and today, today is only a few days off from my remote tuning session for the Turbo E36, the four banger. We have to make sure this car is dialed in and ready to go so that way when it's time to do the remote tuning, everything runs silky smooth and works like it should. Coming up in this video. So as you can see guys, the car has went through some changes. And I know, I know, I know what you're saying. You're saying you said you were gonna keep it with the tall lifted balloon tires and go that route. And you're right. I do plan on eventually taking it back to that. I know I'm very indecisive, but you have to admit, even with it dirty, even with it looking neglected, man, does it look good. Blacked out, black bash bar, no more front splitter, at least for now. Tell me in the comment section how you guys feel about it. But not only that, guys, it just looks menacing. It looks like it will eat your children for breakfast, okay? Hide your kids. That's what this E36 is telling you. And honestly, guys, it's only a four-cylinder. So with it being just a four-cylinder, but you got this massive child-consuming turbo on the front, guys. It looks absolutely, absolutely amazing. And yes, this car needs a complete detail once again, but we'll do that once we get it tuned. And I'll be honest with you guys, I have worked on this car tirelessly, tirelessly to make sure I got the bash bar situated and fixed, completely TIG welded back together. It is still 100% TIG weld from an absolute amateur. I also had to do some field TIG welding. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, which if you're not, here's my Instagram right here. Give me a follow. You will see that I pulled out my TIG machine from in the shop and rolled it outside and TIG welded the frame and fixed it, patched it together and tried to make it look and be as strong as it could possibly be with braces. Check out my Instagram story. Shameless plug, I'll be honest. But with that being said, guys, I really worked so hard, again, to get this car dialed back in. We lowered the suspension back down on those Max Pete and Rock coilovers. Still, not a single blowout yet, not a single stress fracture, not a single piece of issue with those coilovers, at least for right now as to date. Now, don't get me wrong, the car has not driven aggressively and hard and for a very long time, but you know what, though? So far, it's still holding up pretty good. No knocking issues as well, so I'm loving that. We lowered the car back down. Then I had to get the Plasti Dip off of these 18s. I hate Plasti Dip and I will never Plasti Dip anything ever again in my life. I sanded these wheels down. They're not perfect, but they're better than what they are. These wheels won't stay. I am looking for the perfect set of 17s, but that'll come as time goes along. Lowered it down, got the original wheels back on, blacked out the bash bar, fixed a couple leak issues. I had a drain hose that went into the pan. That was leaking a bit. Threw a little bit of fibbage around it, cleaned that up. That's back going. And I did everything I could to clean it up completely around the edges. Now, from here, the last few things that has to be done is check tire pressure and adjust it. I'll have to get gas the morning of. We'll put high octane in, or at least the highest 93 I can get in town. We will check the car over, do a complete visual inspection, throw the leaves out, get rid of some of the bugs, and sit back and really enjoy how this car looks because, ooh, baby, does she look good. So here we are. Let's go ahead and lift up the hood. And there she is. So 
so here it is guys under the hood and as you can see look at all the leaves just everywhere definitely have to fix that and there's probably two things that you guys see with going on with the car one i have not made a permanent solution to that and i know i will take care of that just not today at a later date so just ignore that but also got a little bit of rust i'm gonna have to get this turbo powder coated and i need to get some stainless steel bolts so we'll take care of that another day but one thing that you probably notice as well is that i still have not made a dump pipe or whatever you want to call it for my wastegate but luckily i did that off camera so let's go and take a look at it because i painted it and it should be finished baking already Yes, that looks very well also take welded and what I did was I had a flange that went for the wastegate but also I had this exhaust tube that came from the original exhaust manifold that we cut up a couple times to try and make that manifold happen rip manifold but here we go it is finished and it looks it looks amazing it looks like a professional actually did something was that me oh man so now what we're going to do, we're going to test fit this onto the car, see how it looks, see how it fits. Hopefully I don't make myself look stupid. Hopefully not, but it's completely possible. Bolt it up and then we'll look over the rest of the car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know what you're saying, guys. You guys are saying, hey, we said we was getting the car ready. Why are we about to cut? W what's going on here? Well, I'll be honest with you guys. Once you start cutting into your car, you start to slowly cut out some part of you where you no longer feel bad for cutting your car. It could be frivolous. It could be serious. Whatever it is, you get easier and faster at being ready to cut the car. Anyway, that nice little piece that I made that went on the wastegate, it is hitting the hood and I always knew I needed to recut the hood again, kind of cut some of these edges. One of my fittings is constantly being chafed for when I slip, when I close the hood. So we'll fix that as well while we're here. So there's no more to do but to actually massacre the hood some more. It's just an E36 hood. I can get another one of those all day, right? Uh, hopefully this goes good, not that way. Let's see what happens. Well, we are definitely losing uh, losing some light. Looks a little bit brighter on camera. It's a little bit darker here, but we were able to make a couple cuts and they don't look absolutely horrendous. That's that's a positive. But we were able to also look at that. Close the hood and be able to get some nice little fitment if I do say so myself. So now we're going to go ahead and put this little stripping back on and I think I'm going to call it for a day. I'll catch you guys in the morning when we finish look over the turbo E36. Ah. Tomorrow. All right, guys. So it is early the very next morning. And now I'm going to show you what the cut looks like. And we're going to see if we need to do just a little bit of trimming to make everything fit nice and neat. And then we'll see if we've got another little uh, weather stripping piece that can go around everything. So we made a little bit of room here. So we've got some space and we also made some room here. So that way this won't get, you know, chafed and stuff like that anymore. Also kind of nick this a little bit. So that's, that's me. That's my fault. But overall, the cuts didn't turn out too bad. We'll try and smooth it up and see how we can clean it up and go from there.
so there you have it guys we have gotten the bmw as prepped and as ready as we can possibly do we did the tire pressure because everything was around 20 pounds i know because the tire has been sitting for so long we recut the hood we got the wastegate dump on it we checked everything over checked the fluids over took care of leaks and everything like that the only thing that's left to do is to actually drop some fuel in it on the day of now the thing is it may suck doing some tuning because i looked at my phone as a forecast and it's sunday now wednesday is the day that i'll be doing all the tuning or getting the tuning done and it's supposed to rain it's gonna suck but i'm still gonna do it because i'm so ready for this car to run and to run good so guys if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down tell me how i can improve and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace uh.